Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Uh, this week I want to give you some top tips on um, improving your mindset and having a positive mindset that means that you will achieve your goals before the end of the year or at least be making really good progress towards them. Um, now mindset is one of those subjects that um, is really important and um, something that I practice a lot is um, doing some mindset um, sort of activities and the sort of tips I'm going to give you today. Um, but it's one of those things that people find a bit woo-woo, they sort of underestimate it and, um, and don't really put much effort or work into improving their mindset and sort of undervalue um, the importance of it for achieving your goals. But it's something that I want to give you some um, advice on and sort of stress the importance of um, having a positive mindset in order to achieve those goals. Uh, that you hopefully set a few weeks ago and have been working towards. Um, so if you haven't been working towards it, let's address that now. If you've not started achieving your goals or you've not been very successful, then the chances are your mindset has had a lot to do with that. Now, um, we talked last week about making time for exercise and achieving your goals. Um, so that's all about prioritizing. So we all have the same amount of hours in the day and in the week, 168 hours in a week. How you spend those hours is up to you and that comes down to what you prioritize the most um, but how you prioritize your time is a lot about your sort of mindset as well so it's all kind of interlinked as well um, comes down to choices as well so the choices you make is going to be mindset related as well and then your mindset is going to be um, it's going to be affected by the choices you make so it's all very much like a bit of a catch-22 really um, but working on your mindset and focusing on that this week now mindset is just basically um, the uh, sort of where your mind is like that's that's kind of um, what I think of it as sort of your base level of thoughts now a lot of people would agree my mindset is very very positive so um, I do find the positives in any situation and I encourage you to do the same as well and work with clients on this I would consider myself a very positive person and um, yeah, I'm very focused. My mindset is, yeah, of a sort of high positive frequency. So um, that's how I would describe mine. And I'm not saying I'm perfect because I do still have sort of negative thoughts. But um, the fact that I've worked on my mindset for a number of years and um, I've got many um, different tricks up my sleeve to sort of um, improve my mindset and to work on it so that if I do have sort of a, um, a bit of a blip and um, I need to work on my mindset a little bit more, as we all do, then I've got some tools that can help me to do that. So I'm going to share some of those with you. So um, some of the um, things I've done here uh, that I'm going to talk about here um, will just help you in day-to-day -day life. Um, it doesn't have to be about health and fitness. It can just be if you're in a, having a bad mood, um, or you're in a bad mood rather, you're having a bad day, um, these sort of tips can help you um, with just day-to-day -day living. They don't necessarily need to be um, about e exercise goals or um, weight loss goals or anything like that. But let's, let's start off. Let's give you some practical tips. So one of the things um, that I encourage you to do um, is to help improve your mindset, to be a bit more positive and um, to see uh, the good in the world is to write a list of at least 10 things that you are happy and grateful for in your life right now. So they can be really simple things like the sun is shining, you've got a nice coffee in front of you, you've got dinner plans later on, um, you really love your house that you live in, or you they can be things like that you've successful things that you've achieved. So you've got a new job or you've lost two pounds this week, you ran your first half marathon, you did your first run session, whatever it is, small, medium, large, whatever it is that you are happy and grateful for. Now the reason why I'd say 10 is because that's enough to sort of get you sort of thinking more positively, being happy and grateful for a variety of different things, um, but at least 10. So once you get started with those sort of, as soon as you get to sort of 10, you'll probably be snowballing a little bit and be able to think of a lot more things. And I would encourage you to keep going, write a list of as many things that you can think of that you are happy and grateful for and really go for it. Like don't hold back, like the small things do count because they all like, amount to bigger things. Um, and, and try not to fight it. 
Like if you are in a um, bit of a negative mindset, um, not feeling so good about yourself or your life right now, then it can be quite a challenge at least to start off with um, thinking of the good things. But don't fight it. Everyone has got um, things they can be grateful for in their life. Living in, in um, this country, for example, with most of, I'm sure, watching this, you've at least got a phone or a computer or a tablet that you're watching this on. Um, so you can be grateful that you've got one of those. You are most likely going to have a roof over your head. You're going to have running clean water in the tap. You're going to have food in the fridge. Those sort of things. Like They may seem small and, and kind of insignificant, but they are still things that you should be happy and grateful for. And even putting things down like your best friend, um, someone you can talk to, or your family, um, all of those things that you're happy and grateful for, they all do count. And and I'm always put down on my list, regardless of what else there is on my list, I always write down that I'm happy and grateful for my family, my friends, my clients, my business, my life in general, things like that. And you can't not smile when you're writing all of those positive and happy things down. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I um, encourage you to do, to make a list, write as many things down as you can, at least 10 of things that you're happy and grateful for uh, right now. Um, and to get you on a positive frequency, to get you thinking in a more positive way. And that can be the start of um, if you're going to start setting some goals, that can be the first thing you do to um, get you thinking about uh, more positively about what you actually can achieve, what you've got, um, your ability, your um, sort of capabilities, those sort of things. It, more positive thinking will lead to bigger and, and um, better things. Um, that's the idea. So that's about, about being on a positive mindset. Um, so then the second tip I'm going to give you is to to think and focus on the language and the thoughts that you have. So um, what I'm talking about here is when you are setting a goal or you're talking about yourself and your intentions and um, what you want to achieve, thinking and saying things like I will rather than I am going to try. Um, so for example, I will go for a run tonight rather than I'm going to try and go for a run tonight. It's such a small and you'll probably think a really ins insignificant and like, um, n like not an important part. But honestly, I can't stress enough how important it is to, to sort of think about saying, I, I will go for a run and, and making your intentions clear. That's what that's doing is that you're telling the universe, this is where the woo-woo side comes in, you're telling the universe that you will be going for a run tonight and that's setting your mindset. You are making it clear that your intentions are you are going for a run tonight. Now, then you've all you've got to do is get in your kit and out the door and you'll be running. Um, if you say... Uh, I'm going to try and go for a run tonight, then your intentions are, yeah, maybe, like, see what happens, or I might go for a run tonight, or whatever we're talking about. Your intentions are not so clear, and not so, your mind is not so focused on doing that, and doing whatever it takes to get you to that result, and i.e. going for a run. Um, so that's the kind of second thing that I've, I'm wanting you to think about the most, is your language that you are using in your head and also saying out loud. Um, think about making your intentions clear, being positive as well. So for example, if you have set some goals and you're not um, perhaps on track, then thinking about um, seeing the positives of um, what you have achieved and how you can build on that and move forward from it and, and using it as a positive rather than a, oh, I didn't achieve it, but like, it's not good, I'm going to give up. Um, how you can um, think that, okay, well, I did this and maybe it wasn't as good as I'd hoped it to be, um, but what I'm going to do is learn from this experience and, and move on and seeing the positive from it. And then that's another thing you can do is that from any situation where you're feeling a little bit down, sort of reflect on why you're feeling down. Is it because you didn't put enough effort in um, to achieving the goal or um, things didn't quite go your way? And how can you use that as a positive experience in the future? Um, that's what I would suggest you do. So I've talked a lot today. Um, I want you to think about the two exercises that I talked about um, first of all and then also thinking about how you can learn from um, 
perhaps negative experiences and ch turning them into positive experiences so that your mindset all the time is sort of raised and in um, on a positive frequency the whole time um, so that you can start achieving your goals and, and achieving even more success in the future. Um, so this week, give those a go. Watch the video again if anything um, doesn't make sense. Ask me any questions if you need to. Happy to help. I love talking about mindset and doing sort of this sort of coaching. So please do get in touch if you need any extra help. Um, and I'll be back next week with some more top tips.